Hi everybody, this is Legacira, and today I have put together a list of my favorite divines. Everyone has their own reason for collecting different divines. Maybe it's for the trophies, maybe you want to complete a particular collection, perhaps you just like the divine's perk, its artwork, or a combination of any of those things. This list of my 10 favorite divines that I've put together is based on both artwork and perk, or gift. While some of these may have better perks than others, if I like their design enough, then it makes up for the perk, or vice versa. So I wouldn't say that my list of favorites are in any particular order, but starting from the bottom, one of my favorites is the Celtic Divine Horse Luke. He was first released in 2017. I think it was a great challenge event. He does offer a very beneficial gift. His main gift is a Zeus's Lightning Bolt, which he offers once a month. I can either use that Zeus's Lightning Bolt on one of my own horses, or I can simply easily exchange it for an item that I do need. As beneficial as his gift is, it's really his artwork that I see as his best feature. I quite like galaxy themed artwork and the purple pink swirled mane and tail combined with the sparkles that look like stars really remind me of a galaxy painting. The scroll work designs are a detail I enjoy on any of the Celtic divines that have them, which he does, and I also like the adornments that he has. The semi-transparent purple blanket flowing along his back it just really brings his whole look together, and if we're basing divine prettiness on color scheme alone, I definitely think he's one of the prettiest divines. Anubis is another divine that I primarily covet for his artwork. He is an Egyptian divine released in 2016 via the Treasure Hunt event, which was similar to an item search game. Anubis's main gift is offering a Hestia's gift to his owner, but once again, it's his artwork that I've always been drawn to. I've kind of wondered if his pose was modeled after a Frisian horse. I just think he has a very regal, high-stepping look to him that I quite love. I also think the gold adornments look really striking against his black coat. My next favorite is the Solar Divine Horse Sun. A player obtains Sun once they've obtained all of the other Solar System Divines, and the first Sun was born back in 2012. True to his name, Sun's design is a very fiery looking horse. I just think this is a great artistic interpretation of the Sun, and I've always been drawn to the fiery themed golden apple coats too. It's just a look that I really enjoy. The Solar Divines in general have great perks because they offer the owner passes, but the ease of activating Sun's perk is what I think makes him quite beneficial. He offers you 10 passes every time another of your Solar Divine horses gift you some. So you won't have to go out of your way to activate his perk. If one of your other Solar Divines drop you passes, then Sun will drop you passes. Next up is the Gemstone Divine Horse Sapphire, first released in 2011. Sapphire has always been a divine I've been rather fond of, both for his artwork and his gift. Like the Solar Divines, many of the gemstones offer their owner with passes. Getting passes from Sapphire is very often and very easy. Each day he wakes up, you'll find a player's name in his history, and you just need to copy and paste that player's name in the directories and then go to their page. Every other day, Sapphire will give you 10 passes, and on the days that he doesn't give you the 10 passes, he'll give you 1000 E. I quite appreciate this perk because on days when I'm running low on time, I don't have to take much time to get his gift, and the guarantee also takes the guesswork out of when he'll give me passes. It's not random, it's a set drop rate. This next divine has been a longtime favorite of mine, and that's the mythological divine horse Choresis. He was first released back in 2010, and if I recall correctly, he was the first divine horse to offer his owner passes. The gemstones and solar horses were released in the early 2010s, but at that time they offered their owners diamonds and not passes. You get 100 passes on the 13th of every month from Choresis, but if the 13th falls on a Friday, then you actually get 200. You just have to make sure that you log in prior to the 13th, so it's really easy to get the passes from him. He ranks quite highly on my favorites list, not necessarily due to his value because there are other divines that offer better monthly gifts, but primarily because of nostalgia. He is one of the earliest divines released, and you could first get him by being among the first 100 players to, compete, to complete the old achievements. I actually didn't much care for the old achievements, but it was still quite fun to try and be one of the first to complete them in order to get a divine. We're getting into my top five, and we now have a second Solar Divine Horse, Leo, released in 2013. I love both Theo's artwork and his perk. He offers you 10 passes every day, provided you get second place in two competitions. He does require a bit more effort than a horse like Sapphire, but you do get the passes every day, so that kind of makes up for it. As for his design, I am a sucker for Palominos. I know EO the Moon is a yellowish color anyway, but I really do think that that translated quite well 
well to a divine horse coat. Eo the divine has a golden yellow coat with a flaxen mane and tail, so he really reminds me of a Palomino, and I just think that he's super pretty. And while we're at it, let's talk about yet another solar divine. Jupiter was released in 2012 in one of the first pinatas event, and like Eo, Jupiter offers 10 passes every day. I do think Jupiter's gift is easier to get because you need to win two competitions instead of placing second. Once you've got his skills high enough, you can pretty easily win whatever competitions that you enter him in. He's actually not my favorite in terms of looks though, I think because he just doesn't scream divine coat to me. Jupiter the planet has a reddish brown look and to put that on a horse it just sort of makes him look like a regular chestnut. The next divine is yet another longtime favorite and that's Balios released in 2011. Unlike most other divines, Balios has several different variations or coats. There's a rainbow Balios, nebula and snowy Balios, a solar and drop Balios, and the storm and volcanic Balios. Out of all of these, I'd have to say that the nebula and storm Balios are my favorites. Nebula has that galaxy look that I love and the storm Balios is like electric fire. Not that that's a thing, but that's <laughs> That's sort of what it looks like if that was a thing. Whenever I think of divines, I always think of Balios because he has a mystical divine-like look with both his colors and his pose. His gift is also quite valuable. If you're listed as his producer, he'll gift you with the Nyx pack on the 19th of each month provided you logged in the previous day. The value of his gift combined with his art has just always kept him as one of my most favorite divines. Even when we keep getting more divines, Balios has always remained as one of my top favorites. This next horse isn't the typical divine that most players think of when they hear divines, but because she's listed as a divine breed, I'm going to include her in this list. And that horse is Gaia. Players know Gaia as the mother of all foundation horses, specifically as the mother of their first horse. So the Gaia that I think of and know is technically not the same Gaia that new players see now. When I first created my account, new players did not have an introductory tutorial. It wasn't until a few years later that a tutorial was added, and then several years after that, that Gaia's image became that of the breed and coat color chosen when creating an account. When that update happened, the original Gaia and Aranos' images were thus removed from the horse's family tree. Even though players can't own the original Gaia, she makes this list as one of my favorite divines because I've always loved her artwork and I've just always been fond of her for sentimental or nostalgic reasons. Artistically, I think she's a beautiful representation of nature on a horse coat. In particular, I quite like that her mane and tail are made up of leaves and I really Really like her base coat color. It's a pretty golden color, sort of like a light red dun, and it just really makes the green leaves on her coat stand out. If you'd like to take a look at Gaia or view her stats, you can actually find her in Ao's breeding farm because Ao does still own the original Gaia, or you can also look her up in the directories, but then you have to sift through all of the other regular horses that are named Gaia. And now for the final divine on my list of favorite divines. If I had to pick just one favorite divine based on artwork and perk, I would would hands down say it's Jade. Jade is a gemstone divine released in a potions event in 2011. During that event we had our choice of a few different gemstones and I have always kicked myself for picking emerald over him. Green is one of my favorite colors and Jade is definitely green and he's also sort of iridescent like most of the other gemstones so that just kind of adds to that pretty shiny sparkle divine effect. While I do quite like his artwork what I love most about Jade is his perk. You have to make sure to work him every day because whenever he wakes up, he'll give you passes if at least one of his skills is greater than or equal to zero. Depending how many of his skills fit that criteria, he'll give you passes in amounts of 10, 20, 50, 100, and I've heard he'll give you 200 passes as well. The most amount I've ever gotten from mine though is 100, and he's only done that twice. You can't manually increase his skills like you can with other divines, so he just offers those passes randomly. At least, I've never detected a pattern with mine. However, he does drop passes more often than not. He'll usually drop me 10 passes a couple times a week, and then every once in a while I'll get 20 passes twice a week, so he's not a stingy divine like Gypsum. I absolutely love this divine. Without a doubt, his gift alone makes him my favorite divine. 
So that ends my list of my 10 favorite divines. There are a few others who narrowly missed hitting the list. I can't believe I didn't include Mars because he's always been one of my favorites since his release, but this was just a fun list to put together. If I were to judge the divines based on different criteria, such as just perk alone, or maybe just artwork alone, the list would definitely be different. So does anyone else have any certain divines who have always been your favorites, or do you base your favorite divines on something other than their design or their perk? I hope you all enjoy this list. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.